this is US 19 in Homosassa. You can see that the water made it, storm surge made it to the crest of US 19. What's up everybody and welcome to Homosassa, Florida. We are gonna go into an area that had a lot of storm surge flooding. In fact, it's still somewhat flooded here. Hey kids, what happens when you buy a house in Florida near the water? It floods! Hey children, do you know why your parents should have left you in New York? Because they have better schools. How do you pay for schools? Taxes! Does Florida have taxes? No! That's why people here are slow! You have to stop this voice so <laughs> This wow. is like a serious thing and you've like annoyed half the, probably more than half the audience. All right, everybody. So beautiful Homosassa Springs. Uh, we've been here before as tourists. These people brought out sandbags, but unfortunately they should have brought out sand trucks because sandbags were not enough to keep the water out. Now, this area here had about a foot and a half of water. In fact, I'm gonna guess some of these taller houses might not have even had water inside from what I can see here. But it's enough, you only need two or three feet of water in your house to lose your house. People have to get rid of all their furniture and they have to get rid of the drywall and the insulation. Now, I recently had somebody watching from Jamaica, not play with them, shout out to everybody in Jamaica. And they're telling me that in Jamaica, people would not throw all this stuff away and that America is wasteful. The difference is that in Jamaica, things are actually made out of real concrete. America, even the houses are made out of cardboard. We're not going to go back over here because they're actually working. But you can see that this looks like a complete disaster zone back over here. Como ustedes saben, en esta área mucho racismo. Ahí mismo en esa mata hay un racismo de plátano. The town of Stainahatchee, which was completely wiped off the map. There's not even a chance we're going to be able to get in there. I mean, it was completely wiped off the map. I mean, like the whole town was wiped off the map. That town is definitely a sundown town. In fact, the last time we made a video there, we talked about how it is a sundown town. Hey, everybody. Let's call our insurance companies. They're not answering the phone. You can see here how they try to use sandbags to uh, alleviate the damage, but it just wasn't enough. While these houses may look completely normal, if water got inside of them, uh, you know, keep in mind in the United States. Most home construction is practically it's very quiet for just being a big bus. Most home construction in the United States, you know, a lot of these houses, they, you know, they got drywall. So the people that are telling me, you know, why do they have to gut their house? Uh, it's, 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 
construction materials, when they get wet with salt water, they're ruined. Um, you know, and a lot of the furniture in the United States is cardboard, so it's practically cloth wrapped, you know, cardboard wrapped in cloth, practically is the way they make furniture here. You can see here they put up sandbags to two feet, but the water made it up to about four, so it wasn't enough. Um, so now it's day four, roughly, so from now on, you're gonna see garbage piles that get bigger and bigger and bigger because people start cleaning out the whole properties. You know, by now the smell is starting to be noticeable and eventually this stuff will reek to an unbelievable degree. Um, I don't really understand these comments that I'm seeing with stuff like, you know, why do they have to throw everything away? I'm like, dude, all this is like wet cloth and wet cardboard like it, it's gonna rot it's gonna stink there's no saving it uh, maybe in jamaica wherever you live the furniture is made out of real wood or something like that because i don't know maybe you know they have real craftsmanship and stuff like that but everything here is made out of cardboard brother everything here uh if it gets wet it's garbage it's ruined it, it, it's not that the united states is wasteful um you know if you have an appliance and it gets wet even if it continues to work if it got wet, it could eventually corrode and cause a fire and burn the house and kill people. So uh, it's not about being wasteful. Um, it's it's just... Uh, it, it, uh, hello. It's not about being wasteful. It's that the corrosion will eventually eat up everything, um, which can become actually a dangerous hazard. And it's going to create mold, which can kill you, by the way. I know a lot of people are saying stuff like that on my videos. Or why do they have to throw everything away? It's so wasteful. It's not wasteful. Um, I guess you've never had your house flooded to even understand why it has to be done like that. But that's the way it is. Uh, I can assure you that the general consensus of Americans is not that they're so stupid that they're throwing stuff away that it doesn't need to be thrown away. Uh, you would think Americans are that dumb, but uh, they're not. And again, this isn't like a lake. This is salt water. It's extraordinarily corrosive. Um, anything that this water touches is gone, destroyed. Thinking about how he was going to um, try to get money off his insurance company because the stuff in his refrigerator went bad. Yeah. I'm poor and I wouldn't do that. He says, well, we, we didn't have power for today's, so we're going to try to get paid by the insurance company for the food that went bad. Do you believe that? That seems scummy, doesn't it? Right, yeah, but it's like he's so. Some, there was it's just a petty thing to even think about. I want to get a canoe and a boat again, or something. Maybe one of the inflatable ones, so it won't take up space. Hello. Uh, like the inflatable ones that these people don't even say hello here. I'm not. I'm gonna stop saying hi to them. They're just like super angry. We were in St. Petersburg. Same situation. Houses You're had four. From the camera and dancing. They were laughing and dancing uh, in St. Petersburg. Like same right situation. Now. Same situation. Four feet of water inside. Same exact problem. And the people there were just. They were like dancing, practicing in front of the camera. They're like, it is what it is. We're, at least we're still alive, you know. Not adjusting properly. And we're, we're at a preliminary stage of cleaning right now. Eventually, this will get to the point where you won't be able to drive down the street because the piles of garbage will be on both sides of the road. And yeah, you might see stuff and be like, well, that's good stuff. You might even want to like take it because it looks like good stuff. But again, it's not being thrown out. Look at how many. This is the, what people don't really realize about Florida. Look, take a look at this, guys. This is what people don't understand about Florida and these types of events. This is what causes the red tide right here. Every time you have a storm surge, this is what causes the red tide right here when you have a storm surge. Every last one of these houses has 150 gallons of chemical. Every last one of these houses in their garage has 150 gallons of chemicals. Every paint for every color of every room. You know, these people, if you, afford, if you can afford to live on a golf with golf access, you can afford to paint somebody the house, so have somebody paint the house for you and take that paint away somewhere else. Um, you know, th there have to be better laws regarding um, 
the state of Florida really needs to make better laws regarding chemicals in your garage. Every last one of these houses has 150 gallons of chemicals, paints, insect repellent, uh, uh, you know, bug killers and, and, and grass killers and armor all and like every last one of these houses. And most of these people are gonna grab those chemicals and they're gonna throw them in their green recycle bins when they get ruined because the city won't pick it up because it's environmentally destructive. So here's a clue. If the city won't pick it up because it's destructive, what makes you think? Right, if the city won't pick it up, what up, player? If the city won't pick it up because it's a destructive chemical, chemical, right? What makes you think? Hello. What makes you think that it should be going into the Gulf? But every last one of these houses has hundreds of gallons of chemicals, and and, and I'm talking uh, insect repellent, ant killer, wasp killer. Uh, freaking fertilizer. Let me start on fertilizer. All these properties are nothing but gallon after gallon of destructive chemicals. So now you think for a minute, right? All these houses are just full of all these destructive chemicals. Water goes in to the garage. All that gets flushed into the Gulf, into the canals. That's what causes the red tide. But what a lot of people don't understand or don't want to understand is that that in itself, I mean, think about it. You don't really see it out by the curb after a hurricane because they know that you can't even put it in a landfill because it's so destructive. So if you can't put it in a landfill, what do you think happens when it ends up in the Gulf of Mexico? That's how you get your red tide and that's how you get all your contamination. That's how the state of Florida right now is in a complete state of ecological destruction. But of course, you even talk about the ecology if you even talk about the environment now you're a liberal now you're a raging liberal because you're talking about about this but it's it's a real thing it's it's uh scientific it's understood that you know if you have 150 if you, you got 10,000 houses back here and every house has 15 gallons you know how many tons of chemical waste do you think that is <coughs> i mean it's a lot These canals here, after after a storm surge like this, these canals become wastelands of destruction. Uh, you know, you don't want to eat a fish or a clam or a shrimp out of there. It's, it's it's been eating fertilizer. It's been eating insect repellent. It's been eating freaking ant killer, roach killer. Um, but that's the situation here right now in Florida. Um, this particular storm surge has rendered a storm surge from, sorry if my, if, I, if my, I know the way I'm talking sounds a little weird because I'm just, it's overwhelming to be here. Um, if it's kind of overwhelming to be here, you just kind of feel kind of loopy. It's, it's, uh, it's overwhelming. It's hard to even concentrate. Yeah, you can see you can see that you can see the chemical trails in the way but nobody talks about those chemical trails because again that doesn't match their narrative they talk about the chemical trails in the sky but they don't talk about the criminal the ones that are right there in front of their house you know people have lost their freaking minds it's just it's uh people have just lost their minds basically And the contractors can make money, and the news channel can make money. Why can't I? Have There's you, so have, many people moving to Florida and do not understand. If 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 the news, they're wealth, they're multi-millionaires, right? If the news, who's a multi-millionaire, I bet you haven't gone on the news channel or sent them a letter saying why are you exploiting the hurricane destruction. But then you got to come over here. And, t and try to take the food off of my plate as a normal working class person. Um, I, I, I read comments every day uh, like, thank you, Jose. I'm still up north. Uh, I'm still up north. 
I wanted to see what, what the area looked like before I got down there and your video helped me or hey, I saw my friend's house, I'm glad it's okay, blah, blah, blah. I see comments like that every single day. What are you gonna say, Katie? A lot of people move are thinking about moving here and do not understand what it's like to live near the coast. Yeah, people that move to Florida need to know what the reality is of living in a place like this. Uh, people move to Florida and they're like, and they don't really realize that, hey, dude, this neighborhood is gonna be a construction site for the next six months to a year, if not more. This is the reality right here. For the next year minimum, a, a year is uh, a generous, it's more than a year. For the next year, this is what your neighborhood's gonna look like. A construction site. You're gonna, you're gonna, you can't even smell what I'm smelling right now. But you know, for the next year, this is what it's gonna look like out here for the next year. How you doing, sir? Thank you. Yeah. For the next year, the people that live in this community are going to be looking at this. They're going to be looking at destruction. They're going to be looking at their furniture getting replaced, their car, everything they own. You know, like these people here, they're trying to save these carpets. I can't imagine how bad those carpets are going to smell in a few days. Um, oh, availability. How long do you think it's going to take? How long do you think it's going to take now to get a rug in this area? You think you're just going to go to the store and they're going to have rugs? Probably not. I don't know if you've noticed this, but if you drive to like Naples, Florida, or any of these other coastal communities, there's thousands of furniture stores. Why do you think there's so many furniture stores here and showrooms? But like Katie said, she made a great point. This is the reality of Florida that people need to see so that if you're thinking about moving to Florida, you understand that this can happen to you. This is the reality of Florida that your realtor may not want to show you. Now, in this mess, this insulation all this insulation is already getting mold and turning green on it this okay what are you gonna say katie oh i have family members that work in furniture stores so even once your house is restored and you're looking for furniture it's gonna be months out before you can get it before you can actually get it exactly oh do you smell that that water that water is salt water i don't know if you guys know this Salt water isn't dead. Salt water is alive. It's microbes. It's uh, animals. It's little shrimps. It's little. Uh, salt water isn't dead. Salt water is alive. And when it spends four or five days uh, without oxygenation, everything dies. Little shrimps. Little. I can't. <coughs> I can't put words to how bad this salt water will smell once it finally rots. It is um, one of the most foul smells. You know what, uh, you ever go fishing and leave one single shrimp inside your fishing box? Or, you know, a, a, you ever forget a, a box of worms in the back of the truck? That's just a few dead microorganisms. Imagine, you know, tons of water full of all these little animals that are in the water it's little snails and it is uh no it's overwhelming it's it's just it's a bit much uh, so the amount of work that these people are going to have in front of them now uh their florida dream became the florida nightmare and people do need to see this people do know it's news somebody's it's that's like going to the funeral home being like well the mortician's making money off death. You think? I don't know about you. Is this the wrong Somebody road? Somebody has to do it. Yeah, Somebody's the same, road. same road as earlier. Hey, I am glad to pay thousands of dollars to deal with my dead family member so I don't have to do it or figure it out without. You know what I mean? It's so stupid. But that's how stupid people are. And again, they don't get mad at the big news agencies. They get mad at me, the little guy. Go, go complain to the news. They're billionaires. I'm barely making enough to buy a Ferrari. Another cattle dog, that's where we ate earlier today. Not this one, but cattle dogs are all over Citrus County. Really great. But the irony, the complete irony of the situation is that many of these rich people that are sitting here in this parking lot today are for the anti-homeless law. We don't want to see these people sleeping outside. Well, guess who's sleeping outside now? You are.